After verbally committing to Indiana nearly a year ago, Yogi Ferrell finally put the pen to the paper, signing his national letter of intent signifying his official commitment to IU in front of his entire Park Tudor family. Yogi is, uh, as it's been well publicized, going to Indiana University and now going to sign his letter of intent. In a day full of ceremony comes future expectations for the point guard that he's beginning to make strides at while still in high school. As his season is getting underway within a few days, now is the best time to work on being a better vocal leader to prepare himself for Indiana. That's definitely, you know, the main goal, you know, I actually want to accomplish going into college is winning a national championship. I know if we go in and, you know, don't produce as people expect us to, you know, they won't be too happy. So <laughs> I know we're all going to, you know, prepare ourselves well, uh, just practicing every day, working out hard. They're going to be asked to do quite a bit. And I think that Crane is going to ask them to do quite a bit. Uh, I mean, you know, this is his job on the line. Uh, I think that the IU fans are kind of fed up with the way things are going and they're going to, you know, demand that we win. So uh, I think from the kids' perspective, they're going to do more than what any other group has ever done. From when he committed at Park Tudor's opening game in 2010, Farrell's coach Ed Schilling has seen the point guard make significant improvements to his game. His speed, his quickness, his passing, his skill level is off the charts even against the best of the best. He's always been phenomenal at leading by example. Now he's got to continue to lead by example as he's done, but also lead verbally telling guys where to go, speaking up, talking, communicating on and off the court, um, more than just as, you know, the best way to do it is by example, but he can supplement that by doing it uh, vocally. So that's the big thing. And then I think the other thing is continuing to uh, be prepared for that college line is a little bit further back. And so can being consistent from a little bit deeper range. Uh, when you have a guy like Zeller and you have some of those guys at Indiana, being able to stretch the defense because his speed is so good, if you can get them to come up on him, now his speed goes to a completely different level. The great thing with what Yogi, the way he's going to be able to play is, is exactly how he's going to play in college. He's got great weapons around me. Look at Paul, who's signed. You've got a J.B. Rapp, who's a, a terrific shooter. Trayvon Blewett, who's a high major recruit. Uh, Troy Spears, who's uh, committed to, North, to New Mexico, is a, a, a college-level player. So he's going to be able to play just like he's going to play in college is how he's going to play this year. Because he's so coachable. Whatever you tell him to do, he's looking you in the eye, and he's going to go do it. Even if it's something that maybe not easy to hear he's still going to go do it and that's that's one of the things that's going to make him a great point guard is the fact that he is so coachable wednesday marks national signing day all across the country and for a special group called the movement it's the first step for them to come together to finally restore indiana basketball back to its former glory at park tudor high school i'm courtney cronin for inside indiana